Almost 24 hours ago, polls closed, and now we are learning more about what is happening locally from the results. Baldwin County voters knocked down a proposal to extend the Beach Express between I-10 and I-65 with a new toll road. The coalition supporting the move thinks this all came down to people not understanding the measure well enough. Brianna Hollis joins us live outside the Eastern Shore Chamber of Commerce, which is part of that coalition. Bree, what did the director have to say? So th she thinks people were just immediately turned off by the word toll and didn't really understand what exactly they'd be paying for. Amendment 2 failed by about 10,000 votes. Supporters say it would help bring in more tourism dollars and create a crucial evacuation route. Now, here's the thing. Drivers would only have to pay for using the road between I-10 and I-65. So if you got off I-10 at the Beach Express, you wouldn't have to pay unless, of course, you wanted to use the bridge at the wharf. It's not a road that anybody had to take, and it would primarily have been covered by tourists that come into our area. Cities and chambers on the eastern shore, as well as in central and south Baldwin, back the move. But still, this is now the second time this idea has failed at the ballot box. Live in Fairhope, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5.